What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy Ed Honcho, aka at the real Ed Honcho on Instagram and Twitter. But if you want those delicious, just H Town flavored South Sports just dripping takes, you can catch me at South Sports HTX on Twitter. And <clears throat> if you didn't know, now you know this is a South Sports special. If you don't know what South Sports is, I don't know where you've been. I don't really even want to tell you, but I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna give you some games. South Sports is a Houston Homer channel, so that means we only talk about the Texans, the Rockets, the Astros, Dash, Dynamo. We talking professional, collegiate, semi-pro, amateur, high school, whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? If it has something to do with H-Town, if it has something to do with H-Town sports, then we're going to put a little bit of flavor on it, we're going to splash some sauce on it, we're going to drip on it, we ain't going to trip on it, you know what I'm saying, but if you didn't know, now you know, I hear this is the point where I'm going to tell you, let me calm down, I'm going to tell you to subscribe, why you need to subscribe, because when you subscribe, you become an ingredient, you become an ingredient to the sauce, so every time that, you know, I'm just a facilitator of the sauce, every time Hancho drops some sauce on y'all, you know, y'all are the ingredients that make it fresh, like I say, this, this sauce is bland without you, man, don't you know? For the sauce to grow, you got to be a part of that, man. So, like I said, man, I thank each and every one of you who subscribe and tune in, who check out every video, who drop love, show comments, and all that. But let me get to what y'all want. I know what y'all want. Y'all came here to talk about the man, the man with the plan, okay? So, we talk about the lady killer, Braxton Miller. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but anyway, uh, first you're going to wonder, like, why am I showing collegiate highlights? Because I don't feel like, uh, you know, he had a chance to really show off as a pro like he wanted to. He had some little dings and things. So... <clears throat> we're not gonna we're not gonna hold him down with that. I, I want some of y'all to see what he's really working with, just in case you haven't really seen, because his professional highlights doesn't give you he he can't show you his his real Miller sauce anyway, the Miller flavor anyway. So as I've been doing in this series, this is the continuation of the Know Your Texan series. Uh, you know, we're gonna give a little bit of fact, touch on a little bit of background, just speak on a little bit of the technicals. Um, but this is a positive thing. This is a player appreciation video. This is a player appreciation series. So we talk about the things about our team. If you know some things that most people don't know, please drop that in the comment section below. If you, if this is your favorite player on the team, then drop that in the comments. Let us know. Let us know how you I want you to tell me how you feel right now before you hear the rest of my sauce. How do you think Braxton Miller is going to do this year? I'm going to tell you how I think after I tell you a few details about him. Okay, Braxton Miller. All right, we got a guy, six foot one, about 205, out of Ohio State. National champion winning uh, guy, but I think he was well, kind of hurt that year too. Uh, November 30, 92, another 92 guy. Oh, these youngsters. Oh, my God. Anyway, out of Springfield, Ohio. And now we had somebody out of Springfield, Pennsylvania earlier in the series. I'm not going to tell you who. Y'all got to watch the series to know who it was. If you know who it was, then drop that in the comments below so I know that y'all actually really been stirring up all the sauce and y'all really getting all the flavor. But uh, so I wonder if that, that might be the one where the Simpsons are from. Is it from Pennsylvania or Ohio? Anyway, it's irrelevant. So – Right now, his stats are, eh, you know, 15 receptions, 99 yards, one TD, average 6.6 .6 yards. <clears throat> and I think he's, he's better than that. I think that once acclimated, and I think, you know, when they're going into that second year, being more comfortable and being – I mean, you just look at the highlights and you see those things that he does – and once he finds his, but he's an X factor. He's a guy that you can put anywhere. You know what I'm saying? He played quarterback. He moved to receiver. I think you could do some things with him at running back. Maybe a returnman. He's just a guy that is, is versatile. That you know, um, recently called his football superhero. As you can see it in the highlight. I mean, he's he's everywhere doing everything. <clears throat> but anyway, he was third round guy. You know what I'm saying? Pick number eighty five. And now from Ohio State. Now 2011 to 2013. He was a QB. And then, you know, he had the injury, and in 2015 he became a receiver. And so that's why I'm saying, like, he's, he's playing the receiver position, um, but he hasn't had a lot of experience that. I mean, it's just playing that, you know, continually. So I think that he's going to grow because it's really only his, you know, second, third year uh, playing well, as a rookie. So really a third year playing as a receiver. And I still feel like he'll excel at that. So <clears throat> right now, I want y'all to know, I want y'all to let me know before I tell y'all some of these awards and some of the accolades that uh, Braxton Miller has accomplished. To let you know, we got some guys on the team, man, that have had just, I mean, some real, they got some real resumes, you know. And these guys, they can find places, they can find ways to, to acclimate these guys into the offense or the defense, whatever they may be. This guy's an offensive guy, of course. I think that he can bring some real firepower. I think he's a real firecracker. But <clears throat> what do you guys think? Do you think Braxton Miller overrated? 
Do you think that he's going to be a, a key piece to this offense? Do you think they need to utilize maybe some special things just for him, some special plays? I mean, how do you feel? That's why I say this is a player appreciation. I want to know I want to know the flavor. I want to know what the – I want to know how the people of H-Town, how the Houston fans, how the Texans fans feel about Braxton Miller. I want to know how you trolls feel too because there's a couple of you trolls going to pop up because y'all can't do nothing. But, hey, most of y'all in the division, so y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to give y'all no shine. I'm not going to say y'all name. But y'all can hate too because, you know, he's better than anything y'all got on in the AFC South. You know, y'all ain't rocking with the Texans, so I'm going to throw some salt on y'all, throw that in the flavor. But, like I say, two-time Big Ten MVP, all right, two-time Big Pen, Big Pen, Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year, <clears throat> Big Ten Freshman of the Year, two-time first team All-Big Ten, and then you have a, a national championship under your belt. Now, all these things came, like I say, as a quarterback, but this is just a guy that he just needs the ball in his hand. doesn't matter if he's a quarterback. doesn't matter, like I say, if he's returned. doesn't matter what he's doing. You just get the ball in his hands, and he's going to make something magic happen. I just, I believe in him. I just think he just needs, you know what I'm saying, like I say, the chance to, to – to have some consistency, like I say, having a, some decent quarterback play, and I think that's that that we 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 lost a year last year in that whole like I say debacle dealing with that that junk that trash that was operating the offense. But <clears throat> like I said, we have these pieces. Like I said, you see a guy like this. Imagine this ball would have got in his hands more. Imagine what we could. That's what I'm saying. It, 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 Anyway, we're not going to talk about we're not talking about the past. We're talking about the future, the future of the Texans. I think that this guy can be an integral piece to the future of the Texans. So, like I say, uh, really not a lot that you say that in the pros necessarily. Uh, of course, the touchdown might be the best play that he had in the pros. But um, you know, let me know what you you know. Let me know how y'all feel about Braxton Miller. Like I say, I just want to know the Sauce Nation situation. I want to know how y'all feel because, like I say, it's about y'all. Y'all are the ingredients that make this thing fresh. Um, like I say, I'm very high on Braxton. But I'm, I'm high on all the Texans, but I'm always positive about the Texans. But Braxton Miller, I really have. I just, man, I think this year, breakout year for him, a couple of other rookies, second-year success, I, I see it. So, <clears throat> like I say, these, these the sauce, like I say, this is just know your Texan series. It's not about being long. It's not going into all. This is just a player appreciation video. So, I want you to, like I say, drop it in the comments, man. Um, and I got to do it. Got to do it. Y'all know how it go. If you ain't got the soft sports shirt, if you ain't dripping on them, if you ain't went to softsports.com and you know went and got the shirt, I ain't mad at you. It's all good. I still got love for you. I ain't gonna hate on you. You know, everybody can't get the shirt. Everybody, everybody might not like so some of y'all might be like, man, that shit is ugly. I don't like that shit. Some of y'all might be like, man, that hoe is throat. I just ain't got no dough, bro. And I say, you know what? I understand, man. I ain't hating, but you know what I'm saying? If you got love for the Sauce Nation, if you got love for Sauce Sports, you got love for Ed Honcho, man. I am not tripping. So, you know, <clears throat> but if you can, man, spread that. Share that. You know what I'm saying? Let people know what that's about. Um, if you got people you know that are Texas fans, if you got people that you know are fans of the city or fans of sports in the city, man, show them some love with Soft Sports. Tell them, tell them come check out Soft Sports. Tell them come show some love. Tell them subscribe. Like I said, we're having a subscriber drive. We're trying to go into mash mode before the before the season starts, trying to reach that, make that play for 2K. You heard what I say? Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get up out of here. Sauce Nation, y'all be cool like y'all be cool. Like I say, subscribe. Catch me at the Real Ed Honcho on Instagram or Twitter. Catch them Twitter-only, Twitter-based H-Town Sauce Sports takes at H <laughs> Sauce Sports HTX. And, you know, like I say, all that other good stuff, you can catch me at Honcho Sauce. You see all the stuff right here, all the stuff in the in the, in the window. So you know where to find me. No excuse. You can't say, oh, I ain't know you had a Facebook page. Oh, I ain't know you was on the box. You, you know where to find me. Like I say, all the info is there. Fuck with me, man. Sauce Station, I rock with y'all. Like I say, we can get a game in. It is what it is. Like I say, let me know how y'all feel about Braxton Miller. It's your boy at Honcho. Deuce up, and I'm out.